Today's class is about liver. Liver. Liver is the major organ, the most important gland, the largest gland of human body. Liver is the largest gland of human body. Approximately its weight 1.2 kg to 1.5 kg. It is the color. What is the color? It is brown red. Brown red color. It has two lobes. Right lobe and left lobe. Right lobe is large. So suppose we draw a liver that is the diaphragm and liver is present just below the diaphragm and this is the liver this is the left lobe this is the right lobe the two lobe are connected by round ligament called falciform ligament falciform ligament or round ligament different lobes also present in the right part in the right back side dorsal side of the liver they a gall bladder is present gall bladder is present the gall bladder is the storehouse of bile it is the opposite end we cannot see from the ventral side it is present in the dorsal side this gall bladder is the storehouse of bile this liver composed of several group of cells and these group of cells are arranged in a form of cord and the cell generally secrete a extracellular production called bile. Bile never enter into our blood circulatory system. The another special some ducts also present this very fine duct are ultimately united form the actually hepatic duct. This hepatic duct collects the biles. This hepatic duct ultimately drains this blight, uh, bile to the duodenum through common bile duct and hepatopancreatic duct. Now, this liver, thus the gallbladder, is guarded by quadrate lobe. Here, in this side, a lobe is present. This lobe is called quadrate lobe. And some cord of cells within the liver are, are covered by a connective tissue. This connective tissue is called Gleason's capsule. Gleason's capsule. Present in the liver. What are the important functions of the liver? Liver is the major organ of our body. It performs very important functions. First function is the metabolism of carbohydrate. Metabolism of carbohydrate. They form glycogen by the process of glycogenesis glycogenesis second is the main important function is the in, in case of digestive system they are the main significant play a significant role in the formation of bile bile formation bile is a 
digestive juice although it do not contain any enzyme it reduces the surface tension of the fatty materials and it is fragmented into smaller particles micelle and these micelle is, is having the micelle possesses more surface area than a large fatty droplet in the bile third is the in embryonic stage liver is the main site for rbc formation in embryonic stage but in adult stage the rbc generally produced in the red in the bone marrow red bone marrow rbc also destroyed in the liver when rbc lifespan is completed this rbc is destructed by the liver destruction of rbc destruction of rbc and the hemoglobin converted into bilirubin bilirubin and bilirubin the major one of the most important component of the bile the amino acid when enter into our liver they converted into deamination process and converted ammonia the lysis of amino acid and produce ammonia this ammonia is used in the formation of the urea urea cycle generally takes place sixth is the very important major important proteins that is the fibrinogen brinogen prothrombin heparin angiotensinogen and other very 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 other important proteins also formed in the liver these two proteins fibrinogen and prothrombin are involved for the blood clotting procedure when a wound develop in our body cut our body surface blood is leaked this blood is coagulated externally by the action of these two types of proteins that is the fibrinogen and prothrombin and other 11 factors are involved here heparin heparin acts as the anticoagulant this is the blood clotting these acts as the anticoagulant what do you mean by anticoagulant anticoagulant is the process is the substance when we add it in the blood the blood coagulation is prevented during a when a patient having a renal failure and the patient undergoing dialysis hemodialysis process in during hemodialysis process the in the dialyzer when blood enter into the dialyzer then anticoagulant is injected in the blood so that when blood enter into the machine it do not undergo coagulation this is the anticoagulant angiotensinogen angiotensinogen is a pro enzyme where it is activated and it converted to angiotensin by the action of renin when our blood pressure fall angiotensinogen acts in our blood vessel to constrict and converted in it is not actually directly in the form of angio angiotensinogen it converted into angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 2 these two active 
compound constrict our blood vessel helps and our blood pressure is will be increased when it value undergo in falling condition in falling condition the angiotensin tension acts and blood pressure raise this is the renin angiotensin pathway very important factors if these are the most important functions and other most important function is the detoxification of drugs this is the detoxification detoxification of drugs what do you mean by detoxification when we take different drugs for our disease these drugs some drugs are eliminated through our elementary canal some drugs are deactivated in your body after proper its functioning these deactivation generally occur in our liver tissue by the action of cytochrome different types of cytochrome p enzymes the cytochrome enzymes involved the detoxification of different drugs after their action these are the most important path for functions of liver in the latter class i will discuss about different enzymatic action and their experimental proof suppose tallin suppose pepsin suppose lipase how these enzymes are activated what are their product in which conditions these enzymes perform their best function this will be studied in our next class